welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little Canadian snack taste test. Canadian test test. Oh my gosh. Canadian test. Canadian snack taste test type video. Can you say that three times fast? If you guys didn't know, I was recently in Toronto, Canada. Go check out that vlog. I'll link it in the cards up there so that you guys can go check it out because I seriously love that video so much. Like, I've watched it at least three times. It's a very long vlog, but I highly recommend <laughs> plugging myself here because I really like that video. I think it was so much fun. It was just such a fun girl's trip. But since I went to Canada, can we first off just, like, take a moment? Because I was picking out my outfit. I was like, oh, I just want to, like, throw on a t-shirt. Like, I want this to be a very chill video. Like, hence this background because my room is a mess. Um, exposing myself. <laughs> My room is a complete mess. So this is where we are today. Just like hanging out on the floor But I picked out my shirt and I like I said wanted to be chill. This is the longest explanation ever But what I'm trying to say is I just wanted to be a chill video put the shirt on and then as I was like sitting down to film this I was like that is so ironic because I'm wearing a USA t-shirt in a video where I'm tasting Canadian snacks. So there's that for you. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Since I went to Canada, I figured I had to get some fun snacks just to try out for you guys. I feel like I have a lot of people from Canada that watch my videos and stuff, which is really cool. I thought Canada was so fun. I love all you guys so much, all my Canadian girls. And even like some of my YouTube friends and stuff are from Canada, which is just so cool. But got so many fun snacks to try out for you guys today. I'm excited for this. I got a drink, some chips, and then a bunch of different candy bars. Let's just get into this. I'm going to start with the drink because I want to have like a palate cleanser, you know, so had to get a little drink. Um, this is the one that I found. I wanted it to just be something different than what we have here in the States. So this is a blueberry acai diet Coke and you know, your girl loves some diet Coke. So I thought this would be like a fun, different diet Coke to try out. That is so satisfying. I just brushed my teeth. So I hope this doesn't, um, ruin the taste of it, but here we go. Cheers. Whoa. That is interesting. I did a video a while back. If I can find it, I'll link it in the cards for you too, where I taste tested like all the different Diet Cokes, the new ones when they first came out in like these new packaging and all the different flavors. I actually kind of like this. It, it's not overwhelmingly a blueberry tasting, but it still tastes like Diet Coke, but like there's like a little bit of fruitiness to it that I actually kind of like. Now that we got our drink, we can use this as our little palate cleanser. Let's do the chips next because these are like classic Canadian, I feel like. These are the all dressed ruffles chip. I don't think I've ever had them before. Not that I can remember anyway, so that also is so satisfying. I don't know. I think it's just like all the different condiments or something like that. I don't know. Let's give it a try. I'm going to try and find one. This one looks pretty potent. Mmm. They taste like a really sweet barbecue chip. Mm. Hold on. At first, it tastes like a salt and vinegar. When you put it on your tongue at first, it tastes like salt and vinegar, and then you get like a little bit of barbecue. They're pretty good. I love Ruffles. They're honestly like probably one of my favorite chip brands. I don't know if I've ever talked about like my old obsession. I haven't been doing it as much lately because I've been trying to eat healthier and stuff, but like I used to love getting a Diet Coke and then like a crunch, like a chip, especially for like Eddie's games and stuff. That's like my thing, I feel like. And it's his mom. It's Eddie's mom that got me hooked on it, but I haven't done it in a really long time. But like, I love like a chip and a fizz, like a crunch and a fizz is my favorite thing ever. Just reminds me of like baseball softball season because this is like my thing when Eddie is playing in his games and stuff. Like I feel like I can literally individually taste all the different chips but all in one. That doesn't even make sense but these are really good. I wanted to pick out a bunch of different stuff that was like classic Canadian candy. Like stuff that's like when you think of it you're like yep Canada. But I didn't exactly know what that was so I tried to find some stuff that was like classic Canadian but then just some other stuff that is just different than what we have here in the United States. So I guess I'm going to start off with the chocolate stuff that I got. This first thing I actually tried in the vlog from Canada. We like my friend bought one and we all had a little bit so I already tried this but I figured for this video I had to include it because it literally it looks like a Butterfinger. It's so good. It literally tastes like a chewy Butterfinger to me. It says a peanut butter caramel experience. So maybe that's why because I think Butterfingers are like crunchy peanut butter thing. I think is what Butterfingers pretty much are. This just has a little bit of caramel in it which makes it even better. Or maybe it's like a chewy Twix. I don't know but it's super good. I feel like this would be like my my thing like if I lived in Canada and I wanted like a chocolate bar like this would be my thing I love peanut butter and chocolate together. This is an arrow bar. I think this is like classic Canadian also like I think this is like 
a Canadian thing, but I've definitely had this before when I went to Canada. I mentioned that video. I went to Canada a couple of years ago and I, I definitely remember trying one of these and I definitely remember liking it. It was just a very weird texture. I just got the classic chocolate one. Figured better stick to the basics, you know? It just looks like a little honeycomb on the inside. This is actually way better than a regular chocolate bar. It's like so much lighter. Like, you know how sometimes you eat chocolate and you're just like, ugh, after? Way lighter. I should have got a couple different flavors. I'm kind of mad at myself because I could have got a couple different flavors and tried all of them, but sorry guys, sorry for the letdown. I got some Smarties. I think this is like the Canadian version of M&M's pretty much. Like the same thing and everything. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You can like, as I spill, you can like break the little seal right here and get them out that way. Oh, I'm making a mess. That is so cute. Look at that. That's like such a cute way to package these. Also, these are so much cuter cuter, more cute colors, way cuter coloring than M&M's that we have here in the States. Oh yeah, they're just like M&M's, although the outside of them tastes a little bit different. There's like a handful of them if you can see. They're super cute coloring and they're like really flat. Like M&M's I feel like are like a big circle. These are super flat. I feel like it's less chocolate and more coating. You know what I mean? I don't know, but they're good. Another thing that I feel like is super Canadian is the Coffee Crisp. I've never seen these, never heard of them. It's Thin Minces. I don't know if that's Canadian or French, I guess. Coffee Crisp, yeah, it's just like a Coffee Crisp. I don't know if it's supposed to taste like coffee or if it's like one of those things that's good with coffee. Like, you know how sweets are super good with coffee? I don't know if this is one of those things that like you're supposed to eat with coffee because it doesn't really say anything about what it is, so. Mmm. I wish I lived in Canada. I could eat these all day long. Oh my gosh. Right here it says wafer thins. Makes, makes a nice light snack. Oh my gosh, these are so good. It tastes like those crispy wafers that we have, like the chocolate vanilla strawberry ones, only chocolate coated and tastes like coffee. I'm obsessed. I wish I would, oh. Ah, these are so good. I wish I would've got more. Oh my gosh. If I had these around me, I would literally eat them all the time. Like these are so good. This is the last candy bar that I got. My friends actually picked this up because it looks different than what we have. I don't know if this is like only in Canada or if maybe we have it here and I just don't know. But this is a Kit Kat Chunky, which I love the Chunky Kit Kats. They're so good, but it says New York Cheesecake. So I'm assuming it's like kind of like cheesecake filled. I don't know. It literally looks just like a big Kit Kat. I'm not blown away. I feel like Kit Kats are supposed to be crunchy. Like it's like a crunchy chocolate kind of treat. But having like the cheesecake bit in here, it's not focusing all the way, but you can kind of see right here, the cheesecake part. It just makes it like not as crunchy. So it just makes it like a softer candy bar. You can definitely taste the cheesecake, but not my favorite. The last thing I got are these Star Patch Kids. Again, I'm not sure if this is like just a Canadian thing, but we don't have them here, so. Also, they call them May Maynards, Maynard, Maynards, I think. I don't know if that's like their company that makes sweets or what, but it's like called the same thing. Like it's still Sour Patch Kids, so I don't really know, but these are the Sour Cherry Blasters. So they're pretty good. Definitely sour, definitely cherry. They're just average. Nothing compares after I ate that coffee crisp. Like nothing can compare now. That's pretty much it. That's all the Canadian snacks that I got. Definitely have my favorites. Let's like rank them real quick. Number one, Coffee Crisp. Second favorite, Ruffles. Third favorite, Diet Coke. Fourth favorite, Wonder Bar. Fifth favorite, Star Patch Kids. Sixth is Smarties. And my least favorite, the Kit Kat Bar. This is really fun though, trying some new snacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below and give this video a thumbs up for me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll link that right here for you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>